Welcome to the Community Reef Tanks at Community Montessori School. Our Diamond Studio is grateful for the opportunity to maintain these educational and fascinating marine ecosystems. We pride ourselves in learning about these complex, beautiful systems through the experiential and ultimately hands-on experiences. We would like to take you through our complex filtration systems. Please sit back and relax while we take you through a piece of our ocean. Our first stop explores our largest and most complex and most captivating marine systems. It is our 200 gallon community reef tank located just outside of our learning environment. This unique system is made up of acrylic that forms into a breathtaking half moon shaped aquarium. Each viewing angle gives a thrilling experience from a three dimensional view. This system is operated by three types of filtration. Biological filtration, mechanical filtration, and chemical filtration. Let's start with the biological filtration of this reef system. We place most emphasis on this type of filtration because it acts as the most natural method. Biological filtration mainly consists of good live beneficial bacteria that is stored on live rock and live sand inside the aquarium. This good bacteria plays a crucial role in breaking down deadly toxic ammonia levels to non-toxic levels. Ammonia comes from fish waste, dead bacteria, leftover decomposing fish food, or simply unwanted chemicals that should not be inside the, the aquarium, but make it there anyway. This process of breaking down ammonia into nitrites and then nitrites into nitrates is considered the nitrogen cycle. This tank holds over 200 pounds of live sand and nearly 250 pounds of live rock. Without this combination of biological filtration, it would be difficult to maintain a system of this magnitude. This means tons of surface for beneficial bacteria to grow and help break down that unwanted ammonia. Another biological filtration is our 20 gallon refugium that grows both cop copepods and various kinds of algae. Mike's Fido donated several types of pods that are beneficial to the tank. The pods eat additional waste and then can be healthy and nutritious snacks for the fish. We grow chato for the pods to live in and reproduce. Chato is a form of algae that can be grown. Other algae called macroalgae will absorb nutrients from the water, improving water quality and making it harder for microalgae, the gross algae to grow. We grow macroalgae as a food source for refugium dwelling organisms like our various pods. Our last biological filtration consists of a cleanup group. In our tank, we house crabs, snails, shrimp, and starfish. All of these organisms control aggressive microalgae growth, excess detritus, and sift through sand, eating excess food. Our second filtration consists of mechanical filtration. We use a couple mechanical devices that support maintaining our reef tank. Mechanical filtration is the process of physically collecting debris and particles by trapping them for manual removal. A great example lies in a 30 gallon sump where, where water passes through a series of mechanical filtration. First water passes through so filter stocks collecting debris. It is crucially important to remove and wash out filter stocks weekly. We shoot for one to two times per week. Next water flows through a sponge that collects additional debris. The sponge must be cleaned again weekly. If too much debris is collected and you squeeze the sponge while pulling it out, it can release debris back into the system, defeating the purpose. Last, the water moves through the filter floss that pulls out additional debris and particles. Our last form of filtration is our chemical filtration. Chemical filtration is the process which dissolved organic compounds or potentially dangerous pollutants are removed from the saltwater system through chemical reactions. In our, in our reef tank, we use several chemical filtrations such as carbon, GFO run through a bioreactor, and a protein skimmer. Activated carbon works to remove pollutants that tend to make water have an odor and also works to keep the water clarity crystal clear. GFO is ran through a bioreactor that removes water toxins. Our last and most important form of chemical filtration is our protein skimmer. A protein skimmer re removes these substances completely from the water by using air bubbles, dissolved organic compounds, and then manually removes them into the collection into a collection cup. It is important to empty and clean out the skimmer cup every few days. If not, the skimmer can overflow, dumping harmful compounds back into the system. 
As you can see, we use several different methods for our filtration. We believe that using all three types of biological, mechanical, and chemical filtration can result in best practice for a reef tank. We are grateful that we have several methods that we can learn and grow from when establishing the best reef tank in our meat. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We want to give a shout out to Premium Aquatics for some beautiful fish and coral that we added to our tank for this video. Blue Star Aquatics for coming in as a guest speaker to share about different types of filtration and conducting an experiment. Mike Fido for some really cool pods for our refugium. We value all of our sponsors who we are gr very grateful that they are working hard to support students learning more about keeping this unique and rewarding hobby alive for generations to come.